Hi guys, it's me. I love chili and I've been making chili for at least 50 years and the only way I've ever made chili is with a packet seasoning mix like Williams. Way back in the day we used to get one called Chili O. I loved that one but McCormick, Williams, those kind of things. That's what I have always made chili with. But you know me and Pinterest. I just live there. I saw a chili recipe that you cook in the crock pot, and so I'm going to try it. Let me show you. Well, I lost the recipe I wrote down. I'm going to have to find it. But first of all, you need three pounds of ground beef and one diced onion. I also put some garlic salt in there. And, no, garlic powder. It called for garlic salt, and I didn't have that. And I know you need a can of chili beans, cumin, oregano, tomato sauce, and red chili. I'm going to go find that recipe while this cooks. I found the recipe. Okay, you need a can of chili beans, 15 ounces of tomato sauce. It called for garlic salt. I use garlic powder. Red chili, oregano, cumin, and two... 15 ounce cans of petite diced tomatoes. So I'm just waiting for this to get cooked and then I'm going to put that in my crock pot. While my ground beef is cooking, I decided to open one of the cans of tomatoes and add all of my spices here so I can whisk it up really good. And then I'll dump everything in the crock pot along with the other can of diced tomatoes, the tomato sauce, the chili beans, and you also put in two cups of water. Oh no, you have to watch me every minute. Here's my two cups of water. I have that big can of tomato sauce. It's 15 ounces. It calls for 30 ounces. So I've got to go search in my pantry and find some more tomato sauce, but I know I've got some. Okay, I found two cans of tomato sauce that I can add to that. And this recipe does not call for diced green chilies. If I had a can, I'd put it in here. But we are flat out of green chilies. We go through them like crazy. This is called the best crock pot chili. Found that recipe on Pinterest. And I'll find the lady's website. Oh, here it is. JuliesEatsAndTreats.com JuliesEatsAndTreats.com That's what, where I found it on Pinterest. We cook ground beef for a lot of things. Chili, enchilada, casseroles, tacos, uh, spaghetti, all kinds of things. So, if you, uh, you don't have one of these, go to Dollar Tree and get you one of these. You chop the meat up with it like that. I love it. I don't like to get big hunks of meat. And then this thing was pretty expensive for me, but I love it. I'm glad I bought it. It comes with this little dish. That had a lid, but I've lost it. This is a strainer. What you do is you pick up your pan, pour it in here, and all the grease drains, drains off, and you don't spill it. You don't have a hot can of hot grease sitting somewhere. I love this thing. Okay, I've got my meat in here. I kind of squished it in here to get all the grease out. My body does not appreciate grease in any tiny amount. So I've got that. Now, the recipe did not say to do this, but I'm going to put my meat back in that pan, add all of the tomato sauce and tomato, yeah, everything, and get it hot before I put it in the crock pot because it's already 430, and uh, you're supposed to cook this in the pot, crock pot three to four hours on high, or six to eight hours on low. Well, if I cook it three hours in the crock pot, it'll be 7.30. Casey may want to eat before then, but anyway, I'm going to get it hot before I put it in the crock pot. Okay, I just poured everything in. I haven't stirred it yet. This is a six-quart chicken fryer skillet. It's Pioneer Woman. Um, it only called for one can of chili beans. If I like this, I think next time I'll put two cans because that's a lot of meat and a lot of tomato sauce and diced tomatoes for just one can of chili beans. But 
we're going to go by the recipe this time. Now, really, probably I could just simmer it on the top of the stove in this pan, and it would be good, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the crock pot. Look how much grease came out of that meat. I usually buy 93%, but if 80% is on sale, we get it because it's so much cheaper. I put it in the freezer. Uh, that's a lot of grease out of, off of there. Okay, I'm going to dump this in the crock pot. No, I'm not. That pan is so heavy, I can't pick it up. I've, I've got real uh, weak wrist. I can't pick that up, so Casey will be here in a minute, and I'll let her put it in there, and I'll just let it simmer on the stove until she gets here. After I ate dinner, I just collapsed. Do you ever just run out of energy? You just don't have anything else to give? I do that every now and then, and that's what I did tonight. I just had to go to bed. And uh, Casey put the chili up. We thought it was really good. Casey agreed with me that we would put another can of chili beans in it. But it was good. Anyway, she got it put up before I got a picture of it. But this recipe is a keeper. That's it for tonight, guys. I'm going back to bed now. I hope everybody's doing good. Let me know what's going on in your world. All right, see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Oh, I have something else to tell you. Uh, one sub mentioned that her comment had disappeared. I have found that to be true. When I leave comments on different channels, sometimes they disappear. I thought that person was deleting them. Well, anyway, I haven't deleted any comments, but some of you have told me your comments are gone. I'm sorry. Just leave me another one. And another sub told me that they haven't been getting notifications from me. And this week I told one of my uh, a channel I sub to the same thing. So I unsus unsubscribed and then immediately subscribed back, hoping that will um, jumpstart the, the computer to start sending out notifications to me again. So if you aren't getting notifications from me, try that. Unsub, but make sure you, you sub right back, please. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Here's the recipe. Again, I found it on Pinterest under Julie's Eats and Treats. The title is Best Crock Pot Chili. We really liked it. Here's the ingredients that you need. And here come the instructions. Really easy. Just brown the meat and onion, drain off the grease, put everything in the crock pot. And she says to cook it on high for three to four hours or low six to eight hours so the spices and flavors can all blend together. Then she suggests you use these toppings. I agree with that too. Cheese is really good on chili. And again, I'm going to add a can of diced green chilies next time I make it.